Hi and welcome in this video from Teach Me How to Trade Forex Trading. My name is Damien Levy. Forex Swing Trading Trades and Pending Order Strategy. Free forecast for next week. In this video, I will show you here the major pairs chart with the exact levels where I expect a bounce or a reversal trade this coming week. You can take note from the video the different levels to take. This represents the 8 major pairs. Hi everyone, so here is my forecast for next week from the 17th February 2020. So we are on odd USD and odd USD we are on the daily chart and on the monthly chart in a downtrend. So this level right here reverse one time and two times. So I don't expect to take this one anymore. But if price continue to go up, we have a nice monthly level right here. So I would expect the price to reverse right here. And there is a minor level also right here, which is confluent with uh, this bounce, little one this strong bounce, this strong bounce, and this very strong bounce. And it's also confluent with the 50 EMA. So I didn't put it on my chart, but the price might come out of this level and we have, we have a nice chance of reversal using the daily downtrend. And, but if a candlestick breaks above this blue line right here, the trend will change from downtrend to uptrend or eventually range, which is more accurate. So that's the first level I expect. A minor reversal here, a major reversal here, and eventually if price come back here, if this is a monthly support, so the price might make a bigger move from here and at the retouch, like a W, and if it breaks, which is a possibility, I will go for the next monthly level, which is below right here. This is where I would expect to buy again and after the downtrend will continue, so we will have a, we'll have a nice probability of success by setting it here again. So that's all for odd USD. Now let's look at gold. Okay, so gold on the daily chart and weekly and monthly, we are in an uptrend. And the price make a new high right here, but not closing above this one. So this is the limit where it continues the uptrend. Now what we have on this specific chart, we have very strong move, impulse move going down from this level. So we might have a minor rejection right here. And after we have a monthly resistance right here, which is more likely to reverse from there. And as you can see, this spike reversed very drastically from here. So we might have like a M formation around here. And if not, if price come back down, I would expect this level to act as a support, bounce from here, and the second level right here as a support here. We have a round number in the middle, but in this round number I would expect a minor reversal only, and not a very big move from there. And I repeat for all this, uh, there is more than 54 pairs analyzed every week uh, with level like that, and you take those levels using the swing trading strategy, using the 4-hour chart and a candlestick formation from the 4-hour chart. Now let's look at Euro USD. So Euro USD just broke a monthly level of support right here. So definitely a downtrend. And the top of the last move is here. So we, until this level is broken, we are still in a downtrend. So price might make a minor rejection from here and go all the way here. This is the last three very nice bounce. So price might likely bounce down from there and stop at the monthly if it might, if it reach this specific level. If it goes down, I would expect the price to go to the next monthly support and resistance right here and reject at least to this one. And since we take three reward with the strategy, the three reward should be likely taken on this specific little move. That's all for Euro USD. So GBP USD now. GBP USD, we are in a monthly uptrend from this blue line right here. And we are in a daily downtrend until this level is broken if it breaks. So price make a new low, candlestick on the daily close below this specific spike. Even if it's a little bit below, it's still a downtrend sign. So we might have reversal right here, which is where is the price right now. 
but I would likely see a reversal around the 800 EMA right here and the last right here. In my mind, based on economics fundamentals, I would say that the British pound should fall more than that because getting out of the Europe is not a good sign for them globally in their economy. But we never know. Since uh, two months ago, it made a dry stick move up and it was totally unexpected. So, so as for now, I expect to bounce from this level, daily resistance, it's also a weekly level, and eventually if it goes down, I expect to bounce from the monthly last swing low right here. Now let's look at New Zealand. So New Zealand USD, on the daily and on the monthly chart, we are in a downtrend. And the last swing of the daily right here. So price might come right here and make a reversal pattern and continue to go down, at least to retouch this level, this last low. And if we see like a W formation right here, price might go fly up. Because this is a monthly level of support and resistance. And we might just see right now a fake out. So price might jump drastically from there also. And if price continues the downtrend going down, we have this weekly last, last low right here, and I expect a LC rejection right from here too, to buy. Now let's look at USD pairs. So let's start with USD CAD. So USD CAD, as we can see, we have a very nice impulse move going up, and the last swing low is right here. So on the daily chart, we are on an uptrend. And I expect this to be an uptrend until this level, white trend line, blue trend line, is broken. So we have a nice weekly level right here. So I expect a bounce from there. Or eventually, if price succeeds to go all the way down, a very nice bounce from here. And if so, without a candle closing below this point, this is a monthly level of support and resistance. And it would be a perfect level for entry for a long move going up to buy at this yellow line. And on the weekly and on the monthly chart, this trend line right here, this blue trend line, is the last swing high. So if this swing high is broken up, definitely the trend is changing from down to uptrend on the weekly and on the monthly chart. But for the monthly, we need to wait the end of the month, closing above this line. But for the weekly, if we have one week, uh, one candlestick on Friday, next Friday, that close above this level, the trend is definitely an uptrend. And we have a very nice monthly resistance right here so price might come back to this na this level and make uh, a spike touching the level and bouncing back all again and if not since it's an uptrend of daily it might break and continue up that's my expectation on usd cad now usd jpy so usd jpy we are on an uptrend daily weekly and monthly so i expect eventually at the 200 dma confluent with a weekly level right here to buy and if this level is broken, I expect to buy at this specific level. Same for our strategy, candlestick confirmation to take those level anyway. And after, I expect the price to make a pause or a little reversal from this level, which is a monthly level of resistance, and come back at least to this level with those several bounces right here. That's the expectation on USD GPY. Now, USD CHF. So USD CHF, Price made the W, and now we are in an uptrend on the daily chart. The previous low is right here, but actually this low might be a bit more interesting, and it's on the weekly chart too. So this one might be powerful, but for now, we have a nice, very strong weekly level of support right here. So if price managed to come back to this level, this buy will be according to the daily trend. And after, we have a weekly and a monthly trend going down. And the previous high is here, and the previous low is here. So we have this nice white line, which is a weekly level, where I expect, since there is a confluence with the 200 EMA and the 800 EMA very near, that the price make a fake out up and come all the way down. Also, around the 800 EMA, you have this nice rejection move from the daily chart, which is encouraging for a sell right here. And if this level would have been broken, I would go for this monthly level of resistance right here. This might be a good level to sell and at least go to these previous two spikes right here. So a bigger move expected here. And that's it for all the major pairs for next week and eventually the week after. I hope you make money with this analysis and uh, see you next week. Bye. To summarize, to have access to all the 40 plus pairs that I analyze weekly, Join my Telegram channel and become my apprentice.
You will also then get access to the alert telegram channels where you will be alerted in real time when a level is near to take. When you become my apprentice, I will also review your trade to make you improve your trading weekly. We are already at the end of the video. Subscribe for updates. Please like and share this video if you found the content useful. Comment below if you want to give me your feedback or if you want a video on a specific topic. I propose a free mentorship with access to more than 30 pairs analyzed weekly and real-time trading alerts. You can join by my Facebook group and Telegram channels, the link are below. If you want to learn how to analyze the market on your own and become a professional profitable trader, I also propose two complete courses. One on binary option, one on forex. I post a link below explaining what you will find in them and also where to find the reviews from my previous student. Finally, if you need a quality forex broker, I recommend IC Market through ECN Low Spread and Commission regulated in Australia. Their link is below. I wish you success in trading. See you soon.